We're here with Jonathan Chachua uh, Chamua at the. Did I get it right? Did I get that right? Yes, yeah, right. Jonathan Chamua Chachua. How is Adidas Nation treating you? Uh, is your first camp here in the U.S.? Yeah, no, it's my second camp. I did uh, basketball without border global in New Orleans in February, so it is the second. How are you enjoying playing against you know other guys from different countries uh, in your age group? How do you feel you're doing out here so far? I think it's a really good experience because you play against guys of your age uh, and over your age. Um, uh, they have great basketball skills. Uh, they're really different and you can learn a lot of stuff now. Uh, how did this um, invitation to this camp come together? How did you learn that you're here? And what does this weekend represent for you out here in Houston? Oh, I get informed by the NBA because I'm in the NBA Academy. And this camp is a really good opportunity to match yourself with the other guys of your age in the world. How do you think that you've done so far? Uh, I think my first game was pretty bad because I need some time to like to wake up. But at the second and the third game, I did really well. Crash the offensive rebound, shoot well. I think I did pretty well. What does Coach uh, Babakar see? What does he tell you your role is on this team? Uh, Babakar, uh, first I'm, I'm playing three, but Babakar want me to play four, yeah, because I can play mismatch. I can mismatch most of the player. I can catch rebound, go to the rim. And he told me that I have to, to take care of the rebound and the defense of this team. And what, it's what I'm doing right now. So you've been in the NBA um, Academy program for about a year now. Six months. Uh, six months. Yeah. Uh, tell me about the last six months. Uh, where have you been? Um, how, what has that been like for you? Uh, I was in Canberra in Australia. It was very good. I work on my shooting, my dribble. You can see that on the games here. Yeah. I work on my basketball high cue, everything. In summary, I'm a new basketball player but, but between February and right now. What does a typical day look like for you out there? A uh, typical day, let's take a Monday. I have school at 8.40. I go to school. I come back at 12.40. At 12.40, I can have weight. And straight after weight session, I have shooting session maybe for two or three hours. Or oh, another day, you can have school from two hours in the morning. After you come back, you have an individual workout. And you go back to school at 1 p.m. And you have weight session and straight after weight session, shooting session, or team practice, and a game. A game at 8 p.m., yeah. What are the facilities like um, in Canberra, and, and what are the conditions like for the NBA Global Academy? The facilities are really, really outstanding. You have everything, physio, the shooting gun, you have everything to be great. You don't have a skill to, to don't be great there. You have everything. How much interaction do you have with the Australian players? Like, who, who, who is in your practices every day? Uh, I have really good interaction with Australian players. I'm really friendly with them. You can, I know, like Sam Froling, Alex, uh, Alex Mondroja. I think, I think they are here right now. Ben Carter, they are really good friends for me. How difficult is it for a guy your age to leave Cameroon, you leave your family, and go to Australia? How has that transition been like for you culturally, in terms of the language, the food, the school, all that? Uh, first for the food, I'm fine. I'm really fine. You can you, you can miss, no, you are, you are going to miss the family. You're going to miss the family after one or two months. And now for the culture, it's just, you just get used to it time. And the language, um, before my English wasn't really good. Even right now it's not perfect, but I'm still working on it. It's just coming with time. You just have to trust the process. It's like basketball. You have to work on your language after you work on your game. I was watching you shooting before the game today, and you know, compared with New Orleans six months ago, it's like a night and day. It looks like you changed your mechanics totally. I mean, tell me about this process, about you know, becoming a much more effective shooter, it looks like. Um, and even I saw you uh, earlier today, you made a three in the game. Oh, for shooting, it's a really big process because when I came to the academy, the coach of the NBA, Tom, 
of the Lakers told me that I have to work on my shooting mechanics. So every Monday, every every day, every morning before practice, like pre practice routine, I was just working on that shooting. And every day I try to make 500 shots because in the academy we have a rule that every every week you have to make, like you have to attempt at least 2,500 shots. But my goal is to make 2,500 shots. And right now I'm up to 4,000 shots attempt per week, 5,000. Um, the much more I shoot more in the in the academy right now. I can spend four hour one, three hour. For me shooting is like it's like relaxation. It's good because you feel getting better. How do you track the amount of shots that you take and make? I mean it's such a high number. How do you keep track of that? I keep track that we have a volume shooting session every Tuesday. So we test our shooting with the team and you can see that when I came first there I was at 19 percent shooting by myself, but right now um, I, I keep getting better. And the last time I just did volume shooting, I was at 65 percent. So you just track it every Tuesday. You see that you are shooting better. And when you feel you, you feel you are good at one spot, you like you do a step back or something else at that spot. You just you keep getting better. That's why right now I'm shooting really deep. Have other have any other guys? Um prospects from Cameroon or other places in Africa, if they contact you to ask, what is the NBA Global Academy like? I mean, should I join it? I mean, it's a new thing. I mean, obviously it's associated with the NBA, so it's going to be first class, but you're the really the first guy to go through this. Uh, do you think other prospects will follow you and are people already asking you, you know, if they should look at joining it as well? Yeah, we have a couple new guys coming from Africa. One is coming from Senegal, the other one is coming from Nigeria. I can talk about Efemina. Efemina is a really good player, really athletic like me. He was it's exactly like me before the academy, really athletic. And I think he's trusting the process right now. Also, Baji is a very good player. So right now in the academy with Baji and Efemina. What is the next um, few months and I guess year going to look like for you now? Uh, the next month I'm just going to get better and I'm year 11. I finished year 11 this year so I still have time to get better, work on my shoot, work on my driver. And the next year I have a full year for year 12. So I still have time to get better for good college. Last time we spoke you told me you were thinking about going to college. Is that still your plan and, and if so when would you do that? Yeah. I, I still want to go to college, it's in my plan. But I don't think too much about that. I'm still year 11. I'm focused just on my school, my language, and getting better to still have opportunity and stay eligible. Great stuff, man. Thank you so much. Thanks. You're welcome, man.